comes up on top, holding that membrane down. Um, that kind of came as a last minute uh, request to a couple of the contractors that came down late last week. Um, one that I was talking to this evening, he uh, did kind of shoot me a number, and the other one we had verbally. Um, I'd like to get that in writing before I finalize this. We are looking at trying to put a new uh, membrane down. Uh, you will notice that these contractors are certified using certain materials and certain roofing systems. Um, some, you know, you've got three different kinds there. It's all in the chemical makeup of the membrane that goes down. Um, I was able to get uh, the two contractors that did bid the Firestone products are two different products, but they're the same thickness. And uh, double E roofing, which is using a PVC membrane, is only 50 mil. It's white, the others are black. There's really not a whole lot of difference between them. But as soon as I can finalize those two that numbers, uh, figure out if we want to do it, because some of them are saying that if we get up there and we start stomping around, metal deck we might put do some damage to the deck that they won't warranty so we're going to have to decide if we want to do that and read through those what those exclusions are going to be if we try to do that for the specification the specifications for the bid <coughs> 50 mil or 60 mil um well i gave double e was the first one that came in and they proposed some that same scope was given to the others. Now, Firestone doesn't make a 50 mil, they make a 45 mil and a 60 mil. So, um, there's really not a whole lot of difference uh, in the R value and insulation or anything that you're going to get between the two. Um, some people like, like the white membrane. Um, my recommendation if I was to make it at this time would be to go with a Firestone product. We had the rest of the roof that you see there, black is currently a Firestone membrane. It is in the last month or two of its warranty uh, period. Uh, and one of the contractors said if you could get that supplier down here, have them do a walkthrough on the roof and maybe with some touch-ups that they tell you contractor to make that you could get another five to ten year warranty out of the existing. So if we're working with the same supplier for all of the roof, it would make a lot of sense. Do you know anything about any of these contractors? Um, Danco Roofing and Quality Roofing I both found in the IBJ as they list the top 25 roofing contractors and they're both in the top as far as business and then specialized in commercial roofing and then putting down the membranes. But you see they're all stained by the same one. And they're all, they're all mechanically attached. You can get a fully adhered, which is the Cadillac, which I don't really know that we necessarily what, what is the ultimate base fit? That would be for us to remove the ballast. It's, it's the stone that's holding the, the membranes of those sections down there. He, he told us verbally, and I didn't get it in writing. So I want to get that in writing before I finalize these numbers. So it's like not going to be $500, but I don't know what it is. Well, I don't know if he's going to say that he won't warranty it or what he's going to I don't know if he's going to say that he won't warranty I mean, the one that, that said that they wouldn't warranty the, the deck and everything if we were up there is the one that it didn't end up bidding. So I haven't really had a chance to approach that subject with the others. One that I was trying to get quality roofing uh, did give me a number, but then said that there was some liability issues that needed to be language needed to be put in the bid. So we may take them or we may not. It may not be worthwhile. Is this just for information? Yes, for tonight is for information. It's here, here. Yes. 
the mayor's office basically, which was the old library, was an addition. It's on 4 South End. So I, I, I don't know the quality of this bill. I mean, they shot me a number, but I've got it in a text, which uh, I'd rather have in an email. But I told them I was coming into this meeting, it was early on the agenda, and that's what I asked to be later on the agenda. We need some authority to proceed. You know, as soon as this rainy season gets up, proceed to do what? To do the work. But do you need for us to select a vendor? I think you need to give us permission to go from through the lowest mm -hmm. price. Decide tonight what you decide. Well, we don't know that they all, well, the, the membrane has the same warranty. Whether or not they'll warranty the deck after we're up there and we've done whatever we're doing, I don't know. can't tell you. Maybe one might, one might not. Better we're looking at, at, at three different things here. We've got one that has an alternate bid for removal. We have one that's a, uh, uh, a 60 mil versus one that's a, that's a, a 50 mil. So if you're going to go with the least price, then you're going with, with the 50 mil, and I would prefer myself to go with the 60 mil, which is $50 more. Well, no, it's not complete. The 3800 is, they're allowing us that if we remove the, the, the stuff, right? And I'm still going to call it. Yeah, but it's all alternate. Uh, okay, the quality bid is 60 mil, and it's only $50 more than the double Right, that's what you're saying. Right. Okay, question I have, Gary. 46.3 from Danco. Please don't use these numbers. numbers. Okay. Please don't uh, disclose what the numbers are. Okay, scratch it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The $50 difference was okay. 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 Table it next month. Motion table it next month. Well, like I said, this was it for information only until I can get a more apples to apples. But we are working on trying to get those sections re-roofed. Uh, we just spent money dropping the ceiling down that whole new drop ceiling down that corridor, and it does have a leak. And where we knew the leak was, we've left those tiles out. Uh, Bridget sometimes has to put a bucket up by her desk to catch water. Thank you, Mr. Miller, for this information. You're welcome. Did you have a vote on your motion table? Oh, we have a motion, motion table of the road team. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Vote the same side. Passes. Prices per 
says is going through all of our historical data, looking um, what the future might bring in, in developing a capital improvement plan for the water and wastewater and billing office for the next five years and then look at what it would, what impact we would need to have on the rates. It's been so about we, years since we've done this. Um, the last one was in 2009 and our, it, the capital improvement plan was through 2013. Is this a no. No. no, no, we're not going to touch utilities. Not the reason why they were to offer it the service is not. But the 19,000 average is approximately cost is not including utilities. Okay. Yeah, it's like an add on. Yeah, okay. uh, the water board passed this at their April meeting as well. On their share, and then the mayor would sign that contract. It's um, actually 6,500 a piece. It's 14. It's a thousand less each And it was well, so it needs to be done so we don't fall behind for capital improvement projects and things like that. How much money is this? 6,500 each. 6,500 for the wastewater. Um, it's out of general. It's out of your operating, basically. It's been like 1,300 a year if you look at it over. Which isn't much. For the discussion. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. Same sign. Thank you. I guess she's done. Anything else? Anything from the audience? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second.